We have on the phone, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Scott Stapp. You there, Scott? Yeah, man. How are you? I'm absolutely fabulous. What is going on? And thanks for taking the time to hit the G spot. How are things? Oh, things are great, man. I'm just, uh, band's arriving today, and uh, we begin uh, rehearsals tomorrow, getting ready uh, for the upcoming tour in support of the new album, Proof of Life. It's great that you are back, and congrats on the new CD. Proof of Life is a testament to your trials and tribulations during your hiatus from music. How did it feel to come back with this CD? You know, I tell you, uh, this CD made it all worthwhile. Uh, I think being done with it and then now kind of listening to the music and preparing myself for the live show, I realized that everything that I experienced along the way and in my journey, I poured out into this record and I really feel like I captured it, man. Uh, and I don't think that this record could even have come close to being created without everything happening exactly like it did. Uh, and so, it, you know, it, it brought a lot of closure. Um, but also I'm, I'm really proud of this record, uh, and I think it's the best uh, record that I've done so far in my career. Well, I have to tell you, from what I've listened to, it's absolutely outstanding, my man. Slow Suicide is powerful and brutally honest. Was that the intended message with this song? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. You know, it was just when, when you're doing when you're doing like self-reflection and you're telling a story and, and trying to share about the things that, that you've seen in life and that you've experienced and that, you know, you've grown from. And then when you're reflecting on your own self, I think it's the most important thing to do is just hit it head on, be confrontational and just say the truth, man, because you don't get anywhere lying to yourself. Uh, and so, you know, I, I, I just needed to tell it just like it was. And I thought it was a, a great way to kick off the record to let, you know, my fans know and then anyone who hears the song and then gets pulled into the record um, exactly you know what I'm all about and where I am now and how that's impacting the music that I'm writing today well it definitely pulled me in hook line and sinker and uh, I gotta tell you I was I was absolutely blown away the video is insane as well what was it like making the video for that track you know man it, it it's like you know, the, the video is, is a complete facts, you know, and I, I just recreated events that actually happened in my life. Um, and to go through it and recreate those events, you know, with a clear head and, you know, not being under the influence or, you know, hung over or high or, or whatever and really see uh, those situations for what they are, you know, it impacted me again. Uh, and I kind of just like, you know, rub my hand across my head like, I can't believe I made it. Uh, you know, I should have been one of those guys that died at 27, man. Uh, and I'm just thankful to God that, that I'm here today to, to tell the story and then just pour it all into the music, man, and, and, and pay the experience forward. You know? I totally agree. I, I was, you know, we're kind of made of the same mold. I, I've been down that path in life and, you know, I turned my life around 16 years ago and I haven't looked back and awesome. it, it's great. It's great. Isn't life great once you turn that around? I mean, it. Oh, yeah, man. It, 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 it's, it so is. You know, and uh, I'm just so thankful to God, man. You know, I'm sitting here uh, on my back porch and I'm watching my uh, my 15 year old uh, play basketball with my 16 year old nephew uh, and my seven year old daughter and my three year old just annoying them all, <laughs> rocks at their feet. And you know, I almost missed out on seeing this, man. Uh, and you know, my wife and 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 my life. Uh, and I'm just thankful to God, man, to be here today and and then to be still making music and to be still playing rock and roll music. Uh, and and that being you know the catalyst for my soul's expression and for it now to have purpose you know it has a whole new purpose for me now that, that i feel is so much more important than it ever was before uh because man i got to the place where the only thing that mattered in my life man was helping another brother or sister out that were you know going through hard times uh with alcohol or drugs or in other situations in their life and, and so now to be able to continue to do that uh and then do it with rock and roll man uh and just share this common journey man it just added new and deeper meaning to my life man and i'm just thankful and, and humble and grateful that you know i'm able to talk to you about this record and, and this story uh today and, I, and i'm glad too because it is it's uh it can be a whirlwind at times and uh just shows how strong human mind can be when we are put in a position that we really shouldn't be in yeah 
And yeah, man. I had to surrender, man, you know? Jesus was a rock star as a track that's enlightening and inspiring. Was the intention to portray him in a more real light? In other words, uh, to me, the song makes him seem like a real person, someone we can all identify with. Is is that what you were going for with that track? You know what? Mo- most definitely. Uh, that was one of the one of the things that I was going for uh, in that track, uh, without a doubt. Uh, and, you know, because that's just who he was. Uh, and, you know, also I was resolving a lot of conflicts, uh, in my own life that, you know, could I believe in God and could I have Christian faith and still be a rock and roll singer? Uh, you know, my whole life I was told that rock and roll was the devil's music. Uh, and so I had this inner conflict inside of me, you know, as I began to pull myself, uh, out of the dark places and, and get my faith together again. Uh, and it's awesome that you can be, man. And, you know, so many things that, that I thought growing up, uh, about Jesus and about God were such BS, man, uh, and they were all wrong. Uh, and so to, to finally have the right understanding of it um, and, and realize I can be who I am uh, and still uh, follow the teachings of Christ and, and be a Christian, and, and it changed my life, uh, and it gave me so much freedom. Uh, and, you know, trying to understand how to live a life of love continues to change me uh, every day because I know i got a lot more work to do. Well, I know you do, too, and, and I'm so glad that it's funny, you know, and, and I don't mean to bring up, you know, your former band, but when you were with Creed, it was like you guys were together, and then it was gone, and then I didn't hear anything about you, and I'm like, okay, this guy was mega talented. What happened? You know what I mean? And it, it kind of it kind of shook the rock world for myself because I'm like, okay, is this what's going to be the norm between a lot of different bands that they come together, make this beautiful creation, and then split off? But obviously, it was a lot more than just that. Um, another track that hits with brilliance is New Day Coming. And according to an article on Billboard, you state that this album signifies the end of a season in your life and that the beginning of a new one. Um, and you're very glad a new one is starting and the old one is behind you. How in- right. How enjoyable or how hard is it to start fresh with a clean slate? In other words, did it come to you immediately or did you have to flush out the creativity with any of the tracks on the CD? Oh, it was a process. Uh, you know, it, it, it took a number of years, uh, you know, and then I, I put out a book um, last year. Uh, and, you know, if I didn't write that book, uh, you know, I really believe this this album could have never been born because I, you know, I needed to put the pieces back together. And, and, and it takes a lot of work uh, personally on yourself uh, and, like, taking action, like, to change things. Uh, and it's something I continue to do every day, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm never going to be fixed. Uh, you know, I've got to continue to, to try to grow as a human being and as a husband, a father, an artist. Um, and it takes effort. Uh, and so, so, yeah, it wasn't an overnight thing, and a lot of things had to happen for me to finally gain the perspective uh, and the mental clarity to be able to kind of reflect uh, and then learn from it, you know? You've been an inspiration, you really have, and I give credit to anybody and everybody that can dig themselves out and move forward, because it's tough, it's not easy, no matter who you are. And Proof of Life is a highly relatable CD to many out there. Many messages are contained within. If you wanted your listeners to take away one thing from it, what would it be and why? You know... Uh, if there were, was one thing uh, that I would want the, the listener to, to take from Proof of Life, um, it, it would be to never give up hope uh, and that every day you're alive, that's your proof that there's purpose to life. Uh, you just got to find it. I am more than impressed with your determination and what you've done. Your story is real and it is an encouraging one. What was it like trying to get this CD together? Was it, re- I mean, I know you said it, it took some time, but was it really that? That difficult? I mean, I know for you it was, but as far as the the makeup of it itself, was it that difficult? Well, no, you know, I mean, it, it, from start to finish, once I, you know, began the record process, you know, it took eight months, uh, and that, you know, and that there were lapses in between. Uh, so, you know, I think if I condensed it down to the actual consecutive days, it, it probably took like four months uh, to make this record. You know, it was born when it was time. Uh, you know what I mean? And I and I had written 
uh, nearly a double album of material in 2007 uh, before you know Creed got back together in 2009, and we put out Full Circle, and we're still together. Actually, we we toured all the way up through 2012. Um, but you know, I I, uh, I look back and reflected on that music that I had written, uh, and the working title of that project was uh, Between Lust and Love, and I wasn't there anymore. Uh, I wasn't in the middle uh, of that dilemma anymore, uh, and and I wasn't connecting with the songs, and I knew at that point in time it was time to to start another project to write write new material. And you know, I'm hoping one day I'll I'll put out those songs and do something for the fans with them. Probably I've given a couple away on the internet already. Uh, but uh, you know, so I I began to to you know write this album, you know, and it completely reflects you know where I've been uh, and where I am in my life over the last 18 months, uh, and definitely also you know the a new mentality uh, and a new thought process uh, and how you know I want to continue to grow from this place. And like I said in that interview that an article that you uh, quoted before, you know, this is in this is the end of a season in my life and the beginning of a new season, uh, and it's exciting. It's an awesome way to look at it. I mean, I love the way you put it because that's exactly what it is, you know? Yeah. Faith has always been a big part of your life. How hard is it to incorporate that without getting slammed by the masses or your critics? I think just be sincere and be real uh, and just continue to, to, to be myself because I'm just like everybody else, you know. I'm, I'm a rock and roll singer, but I'm a human being first and, and, and I've lived life, you know. I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, someone coming from some, you know, extreme uh, place. You know, so I just think that just for me, it's just to continue to be natural uh, and let it come as it is really happening. And I think that the authenticity in that uh, is what people can sense and see. And as long as I'm authentic and people know it's real, then they'll understand where it's coming from and, and, and how I live it in my life, you know, and what I'm trying to do as a human being and, and what the reasons are, you know. You're real, so it really doesn't matter what they may say, but they always like to throw in their two cents anyways at times, you know. Yeah. You're coming up this way March 31st, I believe, at the Sinclair and Cambridge Mass. What can the fans expect to see at this show? You know, they can they can expect to see, you know, a passionate, raw, energetic, um, you know, experience of a rock show. It's a journey, man. Uh, and, you know, myself and the way I perform my entire career, you know, I relive these emotions uh, and the feelings uh, and then all the external stuff that goes on in life, you know, uh, that continues to go on, uh, you know, in our human experience, you know, as we, uh, in our day-to-day -day activities, all that energy gets brought to. And so it's raw and it's real. Uh, and, you know, the band and I just try to deliver these songs, you know, to the best that we, I mean, we try to leave it all on the floor, so to speak uh, you know like every show is our last uh, and uh, you know that that passion has been contagious man uh, and uh, you know uh, once you tap into that you don't know any other way to do it because any other way to do it would feel like you're going through the motions you know I can just picture what it would be like you, you've you've come a long way man you know you've been through the ringer probably <laughs> more so than most people and it, it's just a testament to yourself to your stamina and uh, i give you credit all the way across the board is there anything you would like to say to the fans you know just uh you know i love them man and i'm excited uh you know to be able to come out uh, and play this record and give them a rock show like they've never seen before uh and uh you know it, it, it's exciting man and then i'm on the edge of my seat man right to take off on this ride <laughs> can i join you <laughs> <laughs> one last question i'll let you go i know you're very busy besides the tour and promoting the new cd is there anything else that we can expect from scott stapp in 2014 i tell you you know tour is going to be a, a huge focus i know there, there'll be some some television uh performances some some new videos uh you know probably some behind the scenes stuff uh and so right now, man, I, you know, I'm just focused on taking this uh, record to the streets, man, taking this message uh, to the streets. And, you know, things pop up all the time. And if you stay up to date, check out scottstaff.com, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, uh, and you can, you know, kind of experience this as I am, man, kind of on the fly and as things come. And that's what's great about uh, social media, because you can actually do that now. 20, 25 years ago, you could not follow a band like you can today. So yeah, man. it's pretty cool, you know. Well, listen, I've taken up enough of your time. I want to thank you. I want to thank NewEnglandConcertReviews.com for hooking this up for us. And I wish you the best in the future with your solo career. And, uh, you know, good luck, man. Keep on rocking, and I can't wait to hear more from you. Awesome, man. I look forward to it.
forward to seeing you too, brother. Have a All good right. one. All right, you too. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Scott Stapp, solo artist and vocalist for the band Creed. Absolutely amazing. I had just an incredible time. Wow. Very inspirational and down-to-earth guy, man. I'm going to play another one of his songs off his new CD, Proof of Life. I played this one right before the 6 o'clock hour. I'm going to play it again. This is Slow Suicide right here on WSUR. 